Hey guys, Tally here. So when I played Denmark Masters, I stayed an extra week in Denmark and I trained at the Peter Gade Center. This is a highly requested video, but unfortunately Peter and I weren't wearing mics. So the audio is kind of bad in my clips. So I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover. In this video, we're just doing front court, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So here Peter is showing me what I usually look like when I'm hitting front court shots. You can see that his body is facing mostly the front and his swing is quite big. Here he's telling me my swing is really big. And now he's demonstrating how I should be hitting the front court. And clearly you can see how his body is more opened up and his swing is also way smaller than mine. Wow, look at that deception. When I was editing these videos, I literally had to slow down this clip and look at how close the bird is to his racket before he hits it. That's actually crazy. And the fact that he can make so much power with just his fingers is just like, wow. <laughs> Here, Peter is telling me not to use my wrist too much. He says I flip my wrist a lot, which makes my swing big. Now, Peter is telling me that it is really important to incorporate full leg movement while doing front court technique because that's how I'm going to be hitting the shuttle in a real match. <laughs> Here, he's telling me that I'm using my arm too much. You can see him. Um, pretending to be me. Now this is the right way to do it. And you can see his swing is much smaller than mine. He mostly just uses finger. And here Peter's telling me that I start my swing from the side. Instead, my racket should be in front of me as he is showing right now. So my shots can be more deceptive. Now Peter's telling me that it is important that I hit and land on my right foot at the same time for rhythm and power. Here he is showing me how I use my wrist too much. And you can see his wrist flipping a lot. And now this is how I'm supposed to hit. And as you can see, his swing is way smaller, his racket is not flipping, and his shots are much faster and tighter to the net. <laughs> And here is me trying it out. As you can see, my swing is still quite big, but I'm working on it. <laughs> my shots are very inconsistent. Sorry guys, I promise I'll get better at this. Okay, now we switch sides to the backhand side. A lot of things that Peter told me from the forehand side can be applied to the backhand side. Here's him fixing my form again, so my body is not facing the net completely. I should be more opened up to make my shots more deceptive and also open up all the corners on the court that I can hit to. <laughs> Again, Peter is telling me how I need to squeeze my racket just like on the forehand side when it comes into contact with the shuttle. Here's me trying it out. Close to the shuttle. Squeeze the fingers. Side. Left arm. Now 
now we switch back over to the forehand side. So here Peter is telling me that there are a lot of little things that I could change and obviously these changes won't happen after one session, I would have to practice them over time. But yeah, he just said that the ball is in my court and it's up to me whether I would like to change or not. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you would like to, as usual. If you guys have any questions, you can post them in the comments down below. Or if you want me to post the whole video without my voiceover, I can also do that. Just let me know in the comments. But I hope you guys liked the video, and I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye!